Guys, seriously, check this out. Look what just showed up on my doorstep today. What's up, guys? Starlink here. And today, we're going to check out the Brawler 64 gamepad by Retro Fighters for the N64. And let me tell you, I've been anticipating this bad boy since it was announced via Kickstarter late last year. And of course I had to jump on it because I've been looking for a decent N64 controller for a long time. Haven't we all? <laughs> so, without further ado, without boring you with too many details, let's jump into this and tear it open, shall we? Alright guys, here we go. Excuse my switch over there. Well, let's open this bad boy up. Alright. Well, let's rip the box because that's a great idea. Alright. This is awkward doing this as I'm straddling it. There we go. That looks nice. It pops right out of there. Look at that. N64 controller port. And like right off the bat, this sucker feels really lightweight. The analog stick. And it doesn't, I, I don't know how to describe it, it doesn't really feel like, it doesn't feel like your modern analog stick, but it feels good. I mean, it feels, I like the feel of it. It feels like, I don't know, a modernized N64 analog stick. I don't know until I try out some games. The D-pad, it's serviceable, but luckily with an N64 games, you don't really use the D-pad much, so you don't have to worry about that. The buttons, oh my god. Oh my god, the buttons right here, the A and B buttons, they feel fantastic. Ooh, and the C buttons too. What about the triggers? Air L and R, they work great. And the Z buttons, see, look at that. They're both triggers, so there's a Z button on each side, just in case, you know, you prefer to do it on the right side or the left side. I like that, that is awesome. And they feel nice, they're triggers. So, really nice. I like that. What about the memory card rumble pack port that's where that goes but yeah overall this feels really nice it's lightweight it feels a little bit lighter than the n64 controller i don't know maybe it's just me and here right here you can see there's a turbo button if you hold that hold down that turbo button and then you press any of these buttons it'll set it to turbo and if you press and hold down the clear button right here That'll deactivate the turbo for any of those buttons you pressed. So that's kind of a nice feature, I guess. But yeah, it really feels comfortable. I like this. It's nice in your hand. You get a good grip to it. Fantastic. We got to try some games out with this now. Hold on, guys, and we'll shift to some gameplay. Now, before we jump into some gameplay, guys, I wanted to show you that I'm not all smoke and mirrors. I do have my N64 hooked up and some games ready to try out and play. We got Ocarina of Time, Mario 64, which is a really dirty cart now that I looked at it. That's what I get for getting it used years ago is at Funko Land. Love that place though. And Super Smash Bros. And I will tell you that I plugged this in. It plugged in nice. Went in nice and easy. And my N64, the gameplay is not going to look the best because it's plugged up to my modern TV. It's not an ultra HDMI modded N64. It's using an upscaler. So it may not look the greatest, but that's not what we're here for, right? We're just gonna here to see how the controller feels with the games and see if they react and they feel good, feel nice. So let's jump into it, guys. All right, guys, here we are out here, Hyrule Field, playing Zelda. We're testing out the controls here. Old Z buttons seem to work really well. Yeah. Where at? Perfect opportunity. Yeah, that works. C buttons work nice. See how sensitivity of the aim here is. See if I can aim at that tree over there in the distance, even though I know it's not going to hit it. Just look at that. 
Not bad. Sensitivity on the analog stick is pretty accurate. And do a little safe stroll here and tiptoe sensitivity. Overall, I like it. I like the analog stick. It works really well. Let's see here. Oh, look, there she is right there. Need up the collar, Pona. Never mind. Seems to be working pretty nice. In this. I'm really enjoying this controller so far. Let's see if the turbos work. Let's see what they do. You hold down a button, press one. All right. Well, it definitely works. Let's see if the clear. Hold down the button. Yeah, takes it back off. Yeah, I want. They all work. The shield button. All right, cool. R and L work fine. I think that's good for Ocarina of Time there. It's pretty good. Let's try out another game, guys. All right, guys, here we are in Mario 64. Let's test this out. Do a little tiptoe. Testing out the sensitivity all the way around. A little walking pace. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. This analog stick is really nice. Seriously. Worth the controller alone. Man, I think I found my new favorite N64 controller right here. Everything works. Yeah. Really enjoying this. I don't think I can play, I don't think I can switch back to the original N64 controller anymore after this. This is pretty nice. Definitely awesome. Yeah. Definitely very, very good. Alright, let's test out the last game, guys. I'm going to be kind of rusty on this one. I haven't played in a while. Any Smash Brothers game. Obviously, my uh, save data was deleted. Maybe I did that. I don't know. It's been a long time since I played it. Gotta go with Link. Come on. Alright. Of course, we're on very easy, but let's put this up a notch. At least at least at normal, right? Alright. Of course, i got to fight myself first. Okay. Let's see if I don't, you know, totally fail this. Okay, I gotta get used to the controls again. This is normal, you're supposed to be a little bit harder than this. Alright. Okay, alright. Gotta get used to the oop, whole uh, mechanic here. That's right, C is jump or up. That's right. <laughs> Oh yeah, Just remember the smash attacks. This is a good test of the smash attacks, if I don't get my ass handed to me. But yeah, so far I mean I'm pulling off the smash attacks pretty well. Really well that it's activated. If I wasn't doing so poorly, I'd be doing a lot better here. Oh yeah, the whirlwind, whirlwind helped me out there. Dang, I'm really liking this controller, guys. This is the preferred way of playing an N64 game now, in my opinion. <laughs> so what do I think of this? Well, I can tell you, it's a must-buy. It's probably my favorite N64 controller now. I don't think I can ever go back to the original after trying this bad boy out. Seriously. And it's cheap, too! I paid about $20 for it on, my, on Kickstarter for being a backer, but I know for sure on Castlevania Games' website, for example, they're selling it for $30 for a pre-order on the next shipment, so jump on that I'll leave a link in the description because this is a must-have if you're a fan of N64 and you love gaming and everything like that and you didn't really enjoy their original controller 
This is a must have. Even if you are a fan of the original controller, this is a great controller. It is amazing. It feels fantastic. But anyways guys, that's just my opinion on it. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Tell me down in the comments below whether you're considering picking one of these up or not, because let me tell you, it's definitely worth your time. I'm probably going to go play some more N64 games with this bad boy. <laughs> but anyways guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.